Okay, aloha everyone. Today we're going to be presenting about um, the Marshall Islands to you guys. I hope everyone's able to um, enjoy this presentation and learn a little bit more about the culture and what makes up the Marshall Islands specifically. Okay, so to get started, I'm going to briefly um, talk about the geography of the Marshall Islands. So everyone's on the same page, so we know exactly where they're located to be specifically. Um, as you can see here, um, here are the Marshall Islands. So the Marshall Islands, uh, it consists of some of the easternmost islands of Micronesia. And then the Marshall Islands are composed of more than 1,200 islands and inlands and two parallel chains of coral tolls. Uh, the chains lie about 125 miles apart and extend um, some 800 miles northwest um, to southwest. Um, the Marshall Islands are also located um, right next to the federal states of Micronesia and the Northern Marian Islands right here. Um, and as you can see here, the capital of the Marshall Islands is uh, Marju. I think it's Marju, yeah. So a brief uh, history about the Marshall Islands, um, just so everyone can kind of understand a little bit about um, how they were settled and how they are the way they are today. So the Marshall Islands, they were settled initially around the beginning of the Christian era by the Micronesians, who may have been influenced by the early Polynesian um, culture. Um, so they were first settled then, and then they sighted uh, the Marshall Islands. So the explorers sighted them in 1529. Um, and the first explorer that discovered them was the Spanish navigator, Alvaro Savadera. Savadera. And then another cool important history fact is um, Japan seized the islands um, in 1914. So the Marshall Islands were under Japanese control um, from 1914 until about uh, World War II. Um, the Marshall Islands then became occupied during the United States during World War II and then post World War II and also during World War II, the islands became a part of the United Nations trust territory um, to the Pacific Islands. Um, so after voting uh, to separate uh, the other entities of the trust territory of the Pacific Islands in 1978 the Marshall Islands drew up a constitution. Uh, that voters approved in 1979. It formed the Republic and brought internal self-government to the Marshall Islands. Um, so in 1979 is when um, they became their own um, entity and they moved away from the United Nations uh, Trust Territory of the Pacific. They became their own um, separate union and country. So just so we have a little a bit understanding, this infographic is a little bit older. However, it still supports um, the purpose that I'm trying to convey today um, with you. So as you can see here, 92.1% of the people, the ethnic composition of them are Marshallese. And then about point, uh, one, sorry, about 1% 1 of the people's ethnic composition are other Pacific Islanders. And then 5.5% are East Asian. And then 6.4% are considered um, other ethnic bases from around the world. So another cool interesting fact about um, religious affiliation, again, this infographic is a little bit older as well. However, um, this information is still pretty accurate and true today as well. Um, just so we have a deeper understanding, um, the missionaries, when they, when they went and arrived in the Marshall Islands about in the 1850s, um, introducing Christianity to the population um, was a huge deal for these people. Um, the Marshallese and the English languages were spoken. Um, so these missionaries that came over, they spoke um, English and they were able to teach the people there as well. Um, as you can see here, 54.8% of the people are affiliated with the United Church of Christ. 25.8% are affiliated with Assemblies of God and 8.4% are affiliated with the Roman Catholic Church and 2.1% um, are considered the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, and then 1.5% are non-religious, and then there's a other slash unknown of 7.4% of religious affiliation uh, amongst the people of the Marshall Islands. 
Okay, so in Marshall Islands, abject poverty or destitution does not exist since the poor are not starving and most have access to land and other natural resources. However, many people are facing poor, many people, many people are poor and facing hardships and the problem seems to be getting worse. On Major and Abay, women reported feeling stressed by men's drinking cheating and violence. In many cases, this violence is related to alcohol abuse, cramps, living conditions, and the pressures of unemployment. So next slide. Yeah, cramps, crowded living conditions also contribute to problems of child abuse and neglect. In the outer islands, poverty-related issues affecting children include lack of school supplies, lack of transportation to and from school, lack, lack of food at times, and lack of clothes. Domestic violence and sexual abuse are not easily discussed in public. Women who are victims of such abuse may prefer to keep these matters to themselves rather than bring shame on the family. So next slide, we have cultural aspects. So the traditional Marshall Islands culture known to be revolved around the same family and clan structure, which has existed for centuries. Chiefs supervise the clan heads and workers in each Marshallese clan. The chief presides over land disputes and usage. The clan head supervises all daily activities and maintenance, while the workers do the farming, cleaning, and construction work. All Marshallese land is handed down through the mother's ancestral line in this matrilineal society. So next slide. The Marshall Islands is a wanked society in which elders rank above those who are younger and chiefs rank above commoners. Females also control a great deal of power in the, in the maternal social structure, but recently that influence seems to have dropped. The, lo the loss of respect for women was tied to a general loss of respect for elders and chiefs. In the past, women enjoyed more influence, but that was in the days when the chiefs still commanded respect. So next slide. We have activities. So this is called a Kemen, children for, children's first birthday celebrations are among the most important Marshallese family gatherings. Extended family and friends celebrate with songs and huge feasts. Religion is also an important part of Marshall Islands culture. And most residents have fairly conservative views on nudity and alcohol, especially outside of Majul. These small islands boast a disproportionately diverse number of fishing and boat building techniques. So next slide, we have diving and fishing. So these are, so there are popular diving sites in the Marshall Islands. There are hundreds of fish and coral by varieties and shipwrecks lying on the sea floor because of the nuclear testing they did around the area. The game fishing in the Marshall Islands is world class and there is virtually no commercial fishing around the atolls and inside the lagoon. There is an active sport fishing club in Majul and there are frequent tournaments. So next slide. So a row row is a type of chant in the Marshall Islands. There are usually four to six lines and are chanted in a deep tone. The rhythm starts slow and speeds up. Sometimes they're chanted in a call and response style. And arc ale is a role of respect for the frigate bird. So next slide. Okay, so these are um, some of the uh, Marshallese dances. The first one on the top is called beat. It's when men and women sidestep in parallel lines, creating a very difficult rhythm. Um, the other dance is jabwa stick dance. Um, they're usually performed 
um, only for the chiefs and with the permission of the high chief. Um, the dance is when high chiefs build, launch canoes, and build their houses. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, so these are some of the artifacts. The Bogan art, um, collection uh, is the picture on the top right-hand corner. Um, it is. It was generously donated by Eugene Bogan, and this collection consists of Marshallese handicrafts from the 1940s. Um, the Joachim Deborah collection was is the um, picture on the bottom right hand corner. Um, it is just a shell collection. Um, other artifacts would be arm rings, nose rings, shell beads, and fish hooks. Next slide, please. Okay, so these are um, Marshallese clothes. The traditional ones are on top and the current style is on the bottom. For the traditional ones, um, back then only um, both men and female um, would only cover their lo lower body and leave their upper body unclothed. They would wear mats and um, the current style now um, they call their dresses Guam, but we know them as Mubu. Um, so the bottom ones are an example of those things. And next slide, please. Okay, so these are some Marshallese foods. Marshallese really like breadfruit because it's a delicacy in the Marshall Islands. Um, sometimes they eat it cooked and sometimes they make it out of chips. Uh, another food would be rice panke. It's um, like a pumpkin rice, I guess. Uh, another one would be bog juice. Um, it's uh, the picture with all the children holding their drinks. Um, that drink is made out of the pan pandanus tree. And um, I've heard that it's really hard to drink, so you really need to add other stuff so that it can taste good. And the last food item would be the rice bowl. Bowl. It's um, rice balls covered in coconut shavings. Next slide, please. And that's it.